The KTG 535 repair kit replaces the ball valve seals, valve stem o-rings, and manifold fitting o-rings for the input and output on your G5 twin. The kit includes four ball valve seals, four valve stem o-rings, and six manifold fitting o-rings. Here is a list of necessary and recommended tools for a successful repair. Begin the repair by closing both of the valves. Remove the swivel flare fittings. Turn the machine on its side. Next, use a 5 8 inch wrench to remove the fittings from the manifold. Remove the manifold fitting O-rings. Lubricate the new O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the new manifold fitting O-rings. Next, turn the machine upside down to access the ball valve seals. Position the knob so the ball valve is slightly open. Remove the outer ball valve seal being careful not to damage the ball valve. Remove the ball valve. Remove the inner ball valve seal. Repeat for the other valve, being careful not to damage the manifold sealing surface. Remove the knobs. If necessary, lightly pry the knob with a flathead screwdriver. Remove the manifold insert fitting. Remove the valve stem from the manifold insert fitting. Use a pick to remove all of the valve stem o-rings from both valve stems. Lubricate the new O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the new O-rings on both valve stems. Remove the O-rings from both manifold insert fittings. Lubricate the new O-rings with clean vacuum pump oil. Install the new O-rings onto both of the manifold insert fittings. Insert the valve stems back into the manifold insert fittings. Reinstall the manifold insert fittings. Use an adjustable wrench or 3 8 inch wrench to fully tighten. The ball valve will not fit with a horizontally turned valve. The valve must be turned vertically to fit the ball valve into place. Hold the valve in position with a pick to reinstall the knobs. Ensure the knob is pointing up towards the gauge while the valve is in the vertical position to reinstall the knobs. Next, Install the new inner ball valve seal. Note that the input ball valve has multiple holes at different sizes. While the output ball valve has only one through hole. Line up the slot to install the input ball valve.
Install the new outer ball valve seal, then close the valve. Reinstall the input manifold fitting with the flat side facing inwards. Fully tighten the fitting with a 5 8 inch wrench. Reopen the valve. Install the new inner ball valve seal into the output side. Line up the slot on the ball valve with the valve stem to reinstall. Install the new outer ball valve seal, then close the valve. Reinstall the output manifold fitting with the flat side facing inwards. Fully tighten the fitting. Reopen the valve. Turn the machine right side up. Put a clean filter screen in the input flare fitting, then install. Finally, reinstall the output flare fitting without a filter screen. Always perform a bench test after a repair to ensure your machine is working properly. If you have any questions about a repair, don't hesitate to reach out to Appian directly.